Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at network components. We'll be discussing host roles, peer to peer, end devices, intermediary devices, and different types of network media. This episode is part of my series on introduction to networks. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. What is a host? You think of somebody at a party serving their guests, bringing them drinks, providing the location, the food, the entertainment, that's the host. Every computer on network is called a host or it's called an end device. Now it's not only any computer, it's any device actually on your network, a printer, a scanner, a cell phone, any, anything that sends or receives data, that is an end device. That's a host on your network. Now, there can be different types of hosts. One, one type is a server, where it serves up data to multiple people, email server, web server, that type of stuff. The other is a client. The client is the device that gets that information from the server. Now, let's take your cell phone for example. Your cell phone is a client on the network. You're gonna browse a web page. So you open up your web browser, you put in the web address, you hit go. Your cell phone, the client, then sends a request across the network, across the internet, it goes to wherever that web server is, to, to that web server, that web server then processes that request. It gets the data, it formats it, it sends it back to your client across the internet again. So your phone is the client, the web server is the server. It's a client-server relationship on the network. First network we're gonna talk about is a peer-to-peer -peer network. It's a simple network, easy to set up and it's typically a very low cost network. Here in the diagram, we have a very simple peer-to-peer -peer network. Now let's look at a couple things first. First thing here is this is typically a USB cable. This over here is either an ethernet cable or it could be wireless at this point. These two computers, they're set up to communicate back and forth using this peer-to-peer -peer network. Now, they, com they communicate with each other. They don't communicate with anybody else. The, the print sharing computer has the printer hooked up to a USB cable. We set up printer sharing on it. And so the file sharing computer can now access that printer because that computer shared up because of our peer-to-peer -peer network. Downside is there's no centralized administration. Meaning if I make a change to one computer, I have to make the change to the other side, adding in permissions or users and that type of stuff. We have to add those in on both computers. The security is just not there. It's not scalable. You can maybe get five computers. So a network like a veterinarian's office or something like that, this would work great for. But in a bigger network where you're dealing with hundreds of computers and devices on your network, it's not going to work as well. So this is a peer to peer network. A lot of times, like I said, we use this in smaller offices, though we don't really use it anymore. Sometimes in gaming, or if you want to do something quickly, and you just want to share it between one computer to another computer, we, a lot of times we set up a peer-to-peer -peer network. If you like this episode on network components, and you get value out of it, and depending upon the platform you use, please click that like button, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. Doing this supports the channel, which in turn helps me bring you more great content. Subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell to be alerted every time I release a new episode. You can also visit my website at kevtechify.com for all of my details and how to get these episodes in video and podcast form. Now, we're going to talk a little bit more about end devices. An end device is where data starts or stops. That's where the reason... That's where you transmit your request from. That's where you receive that. Now, this can go across multiple different networks. As we can see here in the diagram, over here, a gentleman on the left LAN here makes a request of the web server all the way over on the right LAN. It will travel through the network. It'll go through, it'll, however the routing protocols run it through the network, it'll travel through. So what we do is we, we start off with the request here 
and then it answers with a response and it travels back. Now, one of the other neat things about this is when the data goes back, it doesn't necessarily have to take the same path. It could travel up here, cross here, and then reach its destination that way. That's another interesting about the network is the routing protocol that happens here in the middle. That routing protocol determines the best path through our network. But the thing to remember off of this slide here is end devices. It's where data starts and stops. Data starts on your cell phone or on, in this example, the gentleman on the left side making a request. Data travels through the network. so. It, none of those are end devices that it travels through, but when it gets to that server on the right side, that's where that data will stop. The data will then get processed by the web server, and the data will start the response there and travel back through the network. Once again, every time it goes through one of those devices, that's not an end device because the data is not stopping there until it gets back to the gentleman on the left side there. And once it gets back to the, the gentleman on the left side, that's where the data stops. So where data starts and stops on your network, those are end devices. We have some examples of intermediary devices. We have a wireless router down here. This wireless router typically takes data from a wired copper ethernet connection and changes it into a wireless connection. A LAN switch, a LAN switch connects up multiple devices on your LAN to allow them to communicate in the general vicinity. We also have a router. The key thing to remember about a router is it routes between networks. And those are a lot of the, what, we're, what we're gonna deal with throughout this series, is looking at the intermediary devices, pass data through, end devices is where that data starts and stops. One last thing we're gonna cover in this section is network media. There's three types of network media we're gonna look at and discuss quickly. We're, we're gonna give you a nice overview of that here in this section. In, next, in more episodes, we're gonna dive into these a, a lot more, explain a lot more what's happening, the different types of them. But right now, our three network medias are copper, fiber, and wireless. Copper is that ethernet cable that you plug into the wall, into the back of your computer. A lot of offices use it. Fiber optics, typically it's used like in data centers or long distances, like running along the side of a freeway where it can go miles and miles. Fiber optics typically have a lot higher speeds. And notice I'm saying the word typically because copper and fiber are starting to be pretty close in speeds. Distance though, fiber still wins out quite a lot. And then the third media is wireless. Now, the media is not actually wireless at this point in time. What the media actually is, is air, right? Because you're, you're, the method is wireless, but the media is actually air. But when you say air, a lot of people get confused. So we typically say the network media is wireless. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on network components. If you like this episode and you got value out of it, and of course, depending upon what platform you're using, please click that like button, give a five-star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com. You can get all of these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on introduction to network. In the bottom right is one of my favorite videos that I linked just for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on introduction to networks. Once again, I'm Kevin. This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.